up money. We can see uh, some very early item pickups into the Boots Wand. He should have a great time in this 1v1. Top lane, we talked about watching out for positioning. Moo will be able to go walk himself out. Mm, there's going to be the roll back in now that Nisha doesn't have that spin. They might be able to turn this into first blood. Does have that healing ward. They have to go and find it. It's still hiding in the trees, but eventually Moo finds the kill. Yeah, a little bit surprising. Secret go for the kill in the Void, him. And Moo shows just why Void is a good laner against the Jug there. And that's something Secret have to respect that they... You can't go in the Void. Wait for the Crystal Maiden or the Earth Spirit to be out of position to go for these kills. Mm, there's the Crystal Maiden. Marge in for some trouble. Throws down the Crystal Nova. Nisha slowly but surely chases after her and Puppy finds the kill. Yeah, yeah that, that shouldn't really happen, but it's not going to completely destroy this lane. You can see Secret with a gold lead despite it all. A little bit of miscommunication over here. They know the time walks on cooldown. Yeah, Crystal Maiden, although taking that uh, Fortune Zen moves. Kind of size on Puppy as Fear helps them out, chases them down. One more hit. Oh, nice Earth Spike buys a little bit more time. They will find a kill, but it's looking like Moo in for some trouble here. He's getting healed up by that Oracle Purifying Flames. Nisha, he's still hunting, but are they going to be able to turn this around? Nisha making his way down here by March, and it looks like you still got Yaps are looking for Moo. One more hit should be able to do the trick. Can they find it? Yeah, March will go and collect himself up Nisha and uh, Puppy will find the kill on Moo. So both of them losing their position ones in this top lane. Yeah, at Brewmaster, a fast level six. And then we hope that what Brewmaster brings to the table is going to be scarier than Ty. Uh, an early rotation was Primal Split. We may see Brewmaster go top, go mid, um, or potentially even heroes come to his lane to try and get the Ty. Nisha, they've got their eyes on the Crystal Maiden again, fall for the Earth Spike. It's going to be the roll forward, though, coming out from Fear. Buys March a little bit of time, but still Puppy finding the kill. Puppy now also in for some troubles, trying to run himself over near that healing ward as Nisha runs forward. They get a nice bash off here. Puppy actually going to live to fight another day. He'll turn their attention to Fear. Fear trying to get himself through with his creep wave, trying to find an opening, but Nisha going to have too much damage. Moo jumping back in. He's going to have to time walk away. A buddy top lane. That secret is starting to get the edge in. The Oracle... No, level three already. That level two purifying flames does so much damage when used offensively. The roll in on mid one. It's gonna get slowed down just a little bit. Bryles dishing out that damage, but TPs are coming out. Yapster, will they be able to find March over here? Also the Oracle, Crystal Nova, and it looks like Bryle not gonna be able to survive this mid lane. It's like you're saying, you know, you're hoping that your your six is gonna be better than their six. But uh, with Psy farming, and also keep in mind, you know, Void, it's going to take a while before it has that damage online. So Brumas has rotated in mid. Okay, split coming out, mid one, gets stunned up, they'll follow up with the stone, and they'll find the kill on the uh, OD. Now Yapsor is going to get thrown into the Cyclone. Roll coming forward from Fear, we'll time it perfectly as they just slowly but surely chip away at Yapsor, who's trying to get behind this tier two. It does manage the stun up, but doesn't matter. Forev is here, and he will clean. Oh. Tower last hits, these mean a lot. A lot of gold here, and it will be for if getting the last hit. Nice. Oh, Oracle Puppy hiding into the trees. There's a lot of heroes here. He's going to melt. Forev gets a double kill. No. Okay, still Zai. bouncing back. And you mentioned, yeah, the, the level sixes of the two offlaners, Forev and Zai. Zai uses his to get the solo kill, which is fantastic. Like, that's a great kill to get in a 1v1 matchup. But the downside is Forev immediately rotates to the mid lane with his level six. Moo in some trouble here. He doesn't have that. <laughs> nope. It's going to be the end of Moo. Nope. Manages to get another Agreed. healing ward, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, this is something they've been very good at. Fortunately for them, they're giving up kills elsewhere on the map. No, March. Actually, oh, no. Dash backs off because realizes, yeah. okay, I haven't seen Void in a while. I don't want to dive too, too far. Doesn't quite have that six. Now Zai, split's going to get used, as is the split Earth, and he's trying to get himself. Oh, he's no. going to get the denial off. Oh, no, not quite, Bryle. <laughs> Able to take him out. But here's the level six on Lion. Secret one to find a kill with that finger of death. And they still they have the Ravage back up and running, so it looks like they're gonna force uh side of J Storm back here. The net worth of Secret's out. heroes is a little bit concerning for J Storm though. Three top net worth heroes all on their side. Tide and OD convincingly ahead Radiant of the pack. Dog having a bit of a rough time, but still sitting on plenty of farm. Oh, roll in over here on Zai. Moo coming forward. They've got the 
Nova coming out from Brile. They're looking for it. Seeing if maybe they can force out the Ravage Frostbite himself. But Sly, he's too smart. He's too calm collected. He's not going to let them have it. But he will get taken down. I would love a Void Kill, maybe. If you can blink Ravage on top of the Void and follow it up with a Finger of Death, that's the ideal way to start a fight. Either him, Lesh, I mean, any of the cores, really. Brewmaster, no split is also great. All right, there's the Ravage. They'll follow up with Purifying Flames. Finally, a Finger coming out from Yafsor. And they go and drop the Sandy's Eclipse on Ferev as he's just obliterated. Mo having the TP out. Surprise. I'm, I'm a little surprised because I know... Um, even if they, they stop the OD TPing, I think they get both those kills without the OD. Mm. The Finger of Death was used on the Leshek, which was maybe overkill, but Brewmaster still died because of the Lion Hex. But now it's J-Storm time. They're so much stronger now that Ravage Sandys are down. They want to take a team fight. Yeah, mid one, though, coming forward. We'll be able to use the Astral, push them back. Cinderbrook is thrown over on the ground. Roll forward. They're looking to see if they can possibly catch mid one. The slow comes out. They go and they use the Chronosphere, but the False Promise is out. They need to heal him up. Marsh putting out a ton of damage, as is Barail on that Lashrek. I think he's just going to pop no matter nice. what here. There's Bye, no Boxy. way. Okay, no. maybe, maybe they had enough damage. All right, all right. <laughs> that's, that's a lot just, of hate. Just a few spells. <laughs> just, just a couple. I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, just God. a few. And what? They were probably way past the threshold of killing him. They're not done, though. Oh, no, no. It looks like Zai in for some trouble. He's sandwiched between three different heroes. He's going to get rooted up with that Frostbite. And there's so much damage coming out from Lashrek, although he looks like he's going to have to go Yule's himself up to the air as the Omni Slash comes out from the Jug. He doesn't quite finish him up just yet, but they will be able to find the Purifying Flames. Take him out. Bryles now not a factor in this fight. Mana Drain comes out from the Absor. They'll get the root off. March going to get taken out as well. Fear is just forced to retreat. They do have the Blink up and running on Tidehunter. But looks like they'll just back away from this engagement. Having no ultimates and fighting into the primal split chronosphere, March. get a bit of an even trade. Yeah, look at Yapster <laughs> and, and Zai. They found themselves a crystal maiden and a disco pony as well. But uh, there's the Atos that just got picked up on Fear. He's hoping to maybe follow up. Nice Ravage, though, coming out from Zai. Buys him a little bit more time where they're not going to be active in that chronosphere. This thing comes out from Moo. Yapster, Puppy trying to run back, actually has to use the False Promise on himself. Finger gets used and they'll be able to take down March. Yapster will fall. Bryo now can't run himself out fast enough, it feels. They'll turn around, get the tower, and get themselves the Lashrek. Rest of the side of J Storm, they don't have Chronosphere. They don't have the damage now. That's yeah. the big problem that we talked about. Fear, fear. It's going to get found by Zai. It's going to keep rolling on out. And that Chronosphere may have caught Secret by surprise. It caught me by surprise, but there was an Arcane Rune. Nice disjoint of that Atos. <laughs> what, a, what an item. <laughs> Someone's figured out the answer. Just don't get hit by Atos. Easy. You know, it's got, it's got that long, you know, cast time, whereas it soars on over. Yep. Let's Maybe. have quick fingers. Okay, Chronosphere gets used on, right. uh, on Yap, sir. That's definitely a kill, but let's Chrono down. <laughs> kind of suggests how J Storm feels about this game is that they don't want a team fight. If you're seeing Chrono's used for a support kill, the Sheepstick just got picked up from mid oh, one, no. and we see it too oh, no. immediately. There it. is not going to be a split coming out from this Brewmaster. He's just out of there. Double kill coming out from mid one, and they're just going to keep chasing them down the spin over here as the Astral comes out. Bryle, he needs to stay alive, but I doubt he's going to get away from this right now because there's just too many heroes. Can he get the Denial off in time? No, mid one triple kill. I, they shouldn't win a team fight. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't think Jay Storm is not the fastest. They don't have Ravage. There is a primal split. So we'll see what Jay Storm can do about this one. They need to make sure they get primal split off. They don't have the vision over there. Moo hiding out on the side. They will just blow up fear. Oh, it's actually going to be Roshi who gets that kill. And there's Great freezing be field. Freezing field coming out from this Crystal Maiden as they're trying to just make as much chaos as possible. Moo having to run out again. Nisha just chipping away over here at Ferev. We'll run the Earth Panda out. It's about a little bit under half health now. Yeah, do they chase? does look like Jay Storm are actually going to linger around wanting to contest or go for a steal. Just keep I... using that Crystal Nova for the vision. Sendipru gets dropped, hoping. Zai is just going to go blinking in and scout out what's going on. In. Like, what can they hope to do to Zai? He's such a tanky, tanky hero, and they just don't have as much damage. All right, False Promise gets used on the Oracle. Moo just blown up. There is no contest here for this Rosh. Ferev's got to get out of there in a hurry. Does not have the split. Is going to tank that Omni Slash and... Nisha's. Right back in the Roche pit. Easy peasy. Yeah, Nisha's scary now. With the Manta and Diffusal, he's able to... A Finger of Death comes back up. Omni Slash comes back up. They're close to OD's BKB. There's some key items on Secret that they want to wait for. All right, oh, well... Got the save. Oh, no. He walks into it. But gets hexed. Yep. Oh, Moo. Moo is in so much trouble. The hex, the stun, the burst. The dead. As one accidentally walks into the Crows here, but gets the hex. Potential, but the offensive... 
kill power is also there, especially during the early stages of the game. Snipes the healing ward. I don't know what Ferev was hoping really he to do here, though, mana. because he's going to lose his life here. He doesn't have buyback. I think he knows, like, if you want to defend Raxi, you need to snipe that healing ward, but that's... They're losing buildings here very quickly. Moves back up and running. Does not have that uh, Chronosphere just yet. The spin coming out from Nisha. Again, keep in mind, he's got the Aegis. The Root is going to land over on the Lashrek. And faces what? Will Manta out? Hopefully try to get a couple nice bounces. That's a beautiful Ravage coming out from Zai. They'll be able to clean up two heroes. Can they get March too? March is very slow. It's about to get defused. That's a triple kill. Faces Void having to buy back right now. But I don't know what he's going to hope to do here. Fear hoping to maybe get a pick off on Puppy. He knows that he's the one who's getting all that sustain off. But not going to be able to do it. They'll just heal right back up. Take down Fear. And Nisha's godlike. He's chasing after Brile. He wants this pony so bad. Will be able to go. Use that sheep stick. Drops us sanity and the gush coming out from Zai will take him down. Did he get the rampage this time <laughs> once right. again? Yeah, right? Last game he got denied and this game it looks like he won't. They just want to keep him humble, guys, you know? Yeah. Yeah, like, Nisha, you got to stay hungry. We're not giving you any rampages today. You're going to earn that in your next series. Secret. It's looking like they're going to go to a next series for yeah. sure. Oh, yeah, a team that probably didn't expect to find themselves in the lower bracket, but okay. here we go. All right, we got the uh, freezing field coming out from Marge, but Nisha just slowly but surely chips him down. BKB is going to get popped from mid one. They'll be able to take down Crystal Maiden, move, running himself out, and the GG gets called. Secrets going on in this tournament right now. Yeah. As I talked about it in the, the video we saw at the start of the day, uh, they learned a lot from their loss. It really helped them understand some of the, maybe their weaknesses, if Secret, for whatever weaknesses Secret has. Uh, they lost that very tight series to Vici Gaming in the upper bracket. But here they are, convincing back-to-back -back results here. From 1-2-0 to the next, Team Secret in this lower bracket looked like a 4